Pretoria, the administrative capital of South Africa. To the south of the city, on Monument Hill, stands the Voortrekker Monument. Inside, the world's largest marble frieze depicts 19th century mass migration from the British-controlled Cape Colonies to settlements in the northeast of this land. Aside from founding the Boer Republics, which now form five of the nine provinces of modern-day South Africa, those Afrikaners on their great trek brought with them the sport of Yuxkai. It's a family sport. The origins of Yuxkai lie with the trekkers in their ox wagons. Yuxkai was a way for families to play and take part in something fun together. It's thought that the game can be traced back to the 1730s when it was invented by transport drivers delivering timber used in the construction of Cape Town's fort. Yuxkai only became official in 1939 when the sport's first governing body was founded and a set of rules drawn up. Its name derives from the Afrikaans for the yoke of the ox wagon, the yuk, which is placed in the ground as the target. The pin, the object that's thrown, is called a sky. The distance between a thrower and the target depends upon age and gender and ranges from 11 to 16 meters. It's a game of skill and it's very important to have good coordination. I think Yuxkai is one of the most strategic sports there is. For a player to be able to both aim and throw the sky over such a long distance with control takes a lot of practice and coordination. One of the sport's greatest exponents is Elna Vandenberg. She took up Yuxkai at the age of seven and is now South Africa's most capped player, male or female. It's great because it's always a challenge. Yuxkai is not an easy sport. You always have to give your best and that's what makes it fun. I really like it. The game is also played in Namibia and Zimbabwe, where its roots go back over 50 years. While international matches do take place, the sport is primarily a club and provincial affair. The Yuxkai National Championships, the highlight of the Yuxkai calendar, take place each year in the town of Kronstadt. It's a very sociable sport and it's great for meeting people. Being able to form friendships with people from all across the country is one of the best things about Yuxkai. Matches are played in either pairs, threes or teams of four and the aim is to be the first to score exactly 23 points. Each player throws two skies. Landing it within a radius of 18 inches of the yuk scores one point while knocking it over is worth three. However, if your opponent also knocks over the yuk, then the three points are cancelled out. If a player exceeds the 23 points, then their total reverts to zero. Historically, games used to last for days. Rumour has it that the longest took four. But now matches have a time limit of 45 minutes. However, time is not the main concern for the Yuxkai players of today. The problem is that this is not a sport that generates an income. In rugby, soccer and cricket, spectators pay to watch the games. We don't have that. All the money we need is generated through player donations. In 2001, Yuxkai was chosen by the South African government as one of seven sports to be included in the Indigenous Games project, 
a program identifying traditional sports that needed to be encouraged and developed. Yuxkai's inclusion in the government's indigenous program has seen the game's popularity expand across all cultures. And while many see it as a game for old people, newcomers of all ages and backgrounds are challenging that stereotype by taking up the sport. Certainly, I think I will play for a couple more years until I have to use a walking stick because the bug has bitten me, and I really like Yuxkai. All I can say is that I'm sorry I discovered the game so late, because it's a great game, and you get to meet some good, good people. There's no racism involved. It's like being part of a big family. Having been around for over 250 years, and with the government attempting to safeguard the sport's future, what now for this traditional South African pastime? We must work hard at getting the children to play because they are the future of Yuxkai. I mean, we are all getting older and some of the players are getting too old to play. We must get the younger kids involved so it doesn't die out.